Hi everyone, so my name is Will Perry from Bangor University and today I'm going to be talking you through how to produce a TPS file as well as how to apply landmarks to your photographs using TPS Dig. Now you're going to need four things to do this and the first two things are your software so you need TPS Utility and TPS Dig, both of which are freely available online. You want your images all stored in a folder and you can see mine here, uh, one, two, three, four, five photographs within that folder. And then finally, you will also need some sort of text editor, preferably something like Notepad. And this is the, the place where we're gonna start. We're gonna click on Notepad. So we've got our blank document. We want to save this blank document. Importantly, we want to change the file type. So we want to change it to all files. Now we're gonna call this document test and you want to save the file type as TPS. Save that. So now instead of that being a text document, um, it's now a TPS file which can be read by uh, the TPS softwares. I'm gonna go ahead and close that document. We will then open TPS Utility and we're going to select an operation. Now the operation we're going to select is build TPS file from images. We're going to look for our input file, which is the images just here. So we're going to click on our first image. You only need to click on one of the photographs. So we'll click that there. You then need your output file, which we just created, which was that TPS file test. So we can go ahead and open that. Do we want to replace this uh, test.tps? Yes, we do, because at the moment it's just a blank file. We then go to setup. You can see all of the images that we have in our images folder. Now, at this point, you can remove images by just deselecting them here. But for this uh, example, I'm going to keep them all there. And we click create. Now this will have now produced our TPS file with uh, some useful information in it. So we go across here to test. And if we open up test, what we can see is that it's got the number of landmarks uh, for each of the images, which at the moment of course is zero because we haven't applied any landmarks. But it also shows you the file location of your image as well as the image name. So that blank document that we produced in Notepad now has some relevant information in it. So we can close that. Now, before we move on to applying landmarks to our images and opening up that TPS file, firstly, what you might want to do is randomize your specimens. And so TPS Utility allows this, uh, and it allows you to use this function within the software called randomly order specimens. So if we click on that, uh, and you might want to randomly order your specimens for a, a number of reasons. Um, it might be that uh, you have certain confounding factors that you want to spread uh, or uh, mix randomly across uh, the photographs. So for example, the photographs that we have here are photographs of fish. Now, perhaps uh, these photographs of fish were taken at different times in the day and the lighting might have been different. And so when you're applying your landmarks, um, it might not be the same with the different lighting. Um, and so if we randomize these photos, it means that um, you're not going to have that uh, structure of uh, time or day in there. And so it will uh, randomize the, the error that you've uh, got within your images. But of course, there are many, many reasons why you want to uh, randomize your, your images. And so I'm gonna close that. So what we need to do is we're just gonna copy our test file and paste it again onto the desktop. I'm gonna save it as test underscore rand, so random. We're gonna choose our TPS file, so we're gonna choose test, we're gonna open that. We're going to choose our output file, which is gonna be uh, the test random, so randomly ordered photographs. This already exists, do we want to replace it? Yes, we do. We then click on create, 
And this now will have randomized the specimens within our folder. So if we open up our normal test TPS document, we can see we've got image 2, 4, 8, 11, and 15. However, if we open up our random document, you can see that we've got 11, 15, 2, 4, and 8. So what it's done is it's uh, scrambled those images for us. It's randomly mixed those up, which is good. So we can now close those two TPS files and we can move on to the more exciting part of actually applying our landmarks. Now this is gonna take place in TPS Dig. So we can open up TPS Dig here. You go to File, you go to Input Source, File. We're gonna to go to our desktop and we're gonna click on our test rand, so our randomly ordered images, and voila, what we have is our fish, our photographs, all randomly uh, ordered, and now open in TPS Dig. So now you can begin to apply your landmarks, and the way you do this is you click on this blue crosshair here, so say we might want a landmark right at the front there, Landmark there, and there, and there, and there. And using the wheel on your mouse, you can also scroll in and out of the picture. So if you want to get up close, uh, you can apply landmarks more specifically. Or you can zoom out. And you can go through all of your photographs then, happily applying these landmarks. Da 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 Like so. And quite a useful function that TPS Dig has. So say if we apply more landmarks on this fish, if we go back and then back to our other photograph, it will tell us that this fish has more landmarks in it than the last. And this is important because we want to have the same number of landmarks on all of our images. And you may have applied a landmark by accident or forgotten a landmark when you have numerous landmarks on your images. So we can click OK there. And we can go on and just apply some more landmarks here. There we go. Obviously, not very accurate, but just to prove a point. And you then click File, you click Save Data, and you click Save here. Yes, we want to overwrite. We just uh, want to overwrite that document. We don't want to append it. So we're going to click over right there. And if we now look in our test random, you can see that we have all of our data, uh, which is um, the points within the photograph. So we've digitized those landmarks. Now, another important part when you are applying your landmarks is also how to have a scale. Um, and so we want to add our scale and the way that we do this is we go to uh, options we go to image tools and we've got set scale now we want to set our scale and the way that we do this is we take this and so if you look on the screen there, I think that is uh, one, two, three centimeters. So if we click that, we can then go to uh, options, we can go to uh, image tools, set scale and we know that's going to be five centimeters. So we click OK, and then we have this lovely scale here. So we can close that, click OK. And if we save that, save data, overwrite, and we go back to our um, TPS file, TPS rand. What you can see is that we have now added a scale, um, which can be useful if you want to use these landmarks for uh, measurements. 
So that is how you apply landmarks, that is how you set a scale, um, and I hope this uh, video has been useful for you. Uh, and like I said, all the software is available online uh, freely. Um, and yeah, best of luck with your uh, application of your landmarks.